individuals here know what the Royal Air Force do, uh, they ask pertinent questions and they're all qualified in the areas that we need them to be. Um, most of our other events that we go to tend to be generic careers events, so it's excellent to have this link and have this opportunity to target our market. We have a great relationship with the society. It is our main society as an aerospace engineering business uh, and we, we've built on that and in fact we have our own Marshall Room here which is really valuable to us and shows how close our relationship is with the society. The event is very targeted and caters to the whole breadth of the aerospace ranging from aviation to specific technical and engineering courses. Um, so we come here to not only market our postgraduate courses but the opportunities that exist to develop future air vehicles which will change the face of the aerospace industry further. So the reason we're here with the Aeronautical Society today is to hear from young graduates um, about what they're doing to give them an idea about the kinds of careers that they can have with a company like Raytheon. The society obviously represents excellence. In fact, our company Strapline is committed to excellence. So the society is synonymous with doing things well to a quality standard, so therefore it, one, it provides an endorsing environment. The Royal Aeronautical Society is the highest grade you can achieve in terms of recognition. As a member or a fellow, people consider you as qualified enough to be a mentor to others in terms of developing the career, give them the right direction. I've got some really good contacts and I've found out some really good information. I've got to ask some cheeky questions about my upcoming project <laughs> um, from some engineers, so that's great. This is the society gives you the tips and tricks uh, beforehand, uh, before you come here. Uh, it puts you in touch with the people and it just allows you to grow within the industry at your own rate. Well, I want to do engineering anyway and, you know, aerospace, um, especially women, there's less women as well and I like to do something different. They're really useful because it allows you to ask employers before actually submitting an application what they're looking for and how you might be able to be uh, more of a candidate for them to pick. So it's informative but quite informal as well. I've spoken to about 10, 15 companies that I never really heard of and I've got like email addresses about, about what they do, what they're offering and especially like how to get into contact with them when the placements are available. I achieved what I wanted to and I looked at so many companies, I know what their requirements are, now I know how to apply, what websites to check and how to do all these things so it was very good.